Yes, baby. Where you at? Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things. Everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. I've kept God in my life and has kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him. But you know what's funny? How people always in our business saying, oh, well, y'all out splurging and doing this and that. First of all, we don't owe nobody nothing. No escalation to nothing with our financial funds or anything. And probably say, oh, why y'all on trips? If y'all ain't got no what such and such or whatever. First of all, that's our business. Second of all, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Right. So you can't comment on anything. Right. And it's like, People always love to bring other people down just because they don't have what we got. Right. You mad because you can't go on a trip. Right. You mad because your nigga don't want you to do, to do nothing. Right. You mad because you're not used to going on anything or going out with anybody. You can't take that out on me. Here's your new start and a great beginning. Bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. You just got to let yourself know who, what, and where you're going. You got to be the first one to break the generational curse. Can I walk heavy up in here? Somebody say, preach, Pastor Hollis. I'm doing the best I can. Sometimes you got to be the first one. Sometimes you got to be the one to be educational excellence. Sometimes you got to be the one to break the financial issues in your family. Sometimes you got to be able to break that pre that, that part of your life where, where you have groomed and raised in a certain way that God has said, no, I want you to do it different than what your family has done it. Ain't nothing wrong with how they've done it, but God is calling you to do it a different way. Is there anybody in the building that's feeling something different about their life? up this morning to preach to you and to let you know that you might be the only one so stop being afraid to step outside the when I didn't understand I stood when I could not stand that I stepped out on the word of God I stepped out on the word of God and God made me the only one that was able to do the dog